Okay. Okay. Then we'll start on the bottom. Uh, the Mishnah. We didn't get up to the Mishnah. I think Rabbi Hanina. It's a little bit above the Mishnah. The bottle of, on bottom of 24B. Okay. So we're holding Rabbi Hanina. That's one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we were learning. Th there's a few things going on here. One of them is the, the opinion of Rabbi Shimon Ben Elazar that says whenever there's a lot of people and whenever there's a lot of traffic, so you don't have to return the item even if it has a simon. Now we didn't know if Rabbi Shimon Ben Elazar was talking about only if the traffic is uh, non-Jewish traffic, but maybe it also applies to Jewish traffic. Would also be uh, that you don't have to return it. And then another thing we we mentioned it was an interesting point that someone made, Rabasi made, that uh, if you find a barrel of wine in a city that's not Jewish, so even though you can keep the barrel, but you can't drink the wine unless a Jewish person would give you a sign on it, and you'd still be able to keep the barrel, and then you would be allowed to drink the wine. That was like one of the points here. So anyway, now we have. Rabbi Hanina Matzagadi Shachat Ben Tiveri Lutzipayri. Rabbi Hanina found a goat that was slaughtered in between Tiveri and Tzipayri. I, I, th I think Tzipayri is probably more north than the than Tiveri. Tiveri is the north. I think is Tiveri even high, even more north than that. Um, Tiveri is the uh, was an important city in the in the days of Damirayim. They said you can you, you can eat it. I guess you can keep it and you can eat it. Am Rabami Rabami explained that he tirulai mishumetzia. Rabbi Chinina, by the way, is Rabbi Chinina ben Bar Chama. He's a, uh, a student of, of Rabbi. Early early uh, Amira. So Rabami says they allowed him to keep it because of their following Rabbi Shimon ben Alasar, which we we know already. Rabbi Shimon ben Alasar says that if there's a lot of people there. Then uh, a lot of traffic. Then you can keep it, and mishum shchita kerab chanina b'nai shal beisag lili. And they, the, why they, why did they say it's kosher? That's because they're following Rabbi Chanina, the son of Rabbi Beisag Lili. The Tanya was taught in a brisa. Reisha of the lake of the Avatana Goylov. Someone lost his goats and or his chickens. Balach matzin shchutim finds that they were slaughtered. Rabbi the Eiser and Rabbi Chanina b'nai shal beisag lili mater. So it's a machlekes. So why by um, uh, Rabbi Hanina did they allow it? Well, they followed the opinion of, of the lenient one, which is the, uh, Rabbi Hanina. They followed the opinion of Rabbi Hanina, B'nai Shor, B'nai Shor, B'nai Shor. This is a different Rabbi Hanina. Um, and that's why. And now Amar Rabbi and Rabbi explain that near and Rabbi Yudha Kishmatsam Bas, but with Rabbi Hanina, B'nai Shor, B'nai Shor, B'nai Shor, B'nai Shor, B'nai Shor. Rabbi says that the halacha is not like one of them 100%. The halacha is like Rabbi Yehuda, if it was found in the garbage, because then we could say that maybe it wasn't actually a kosher shechita. You see that it was slaughtered. You know, it wasn't shot. Um, and then uh, and when did they find, when did they allow it, like Rabbi Hanina, that was if if it was in, in someone's house. Maybe the people went away and they left the house empty. Found it in the freezer. The, now it says, obviously, the fact that they allowed the shechita, that's Ruby Yisrael. You know, it must be that most people were Jewish there. Or else, why would they say that it was kosher? Right? Shechita has to be done by a Jew. So it must be that the majority of people are Jewish. Oh. Oh. Yeah, uh, uh, your father's here. 
Okay, so Sham et Mina, Allah Hikrab Shem Min Allah, Nafila Brave Yisrael. Now, this wasn't, this was something that was unclear before because we weren't sure if Rabbi Shimon Eliezer would agree that the same halacha, would, his opinion would apply even if the, the traffic is Jewish traffic, that he's still allowed to keep it. But here we're saying that obviously the traffic is Jewish and you're, and you're allowed to keep it. How do we know the traffic is Jewish? Because we're saying that you're allowed to eat the shechita. Okay. But the Gemara says, not necessarily. Just because you're allowed to eat it doesn't mean that the majority of people there are Jewish. The majority of people there maybe aren't, are not Jewish, but the butchers there are Jewish. Even the non-Jews maybe bring their animals to the butcher. And then we have an answer. You're allowed to keep it because who did it belong to? It probably came from a non-Jew. You're allowed to eat it because it came from a Jewish butcher. Okay. Uh, Ravami Ashkach Pargiyai Shkutai Spain Tveri Let's see Pargiyai Pargiyais are uh, in, in, uh, in modern language is uh, like schnitzel from the dark meat there's Pargiyai but uh, here it just means birds he found Ravami found the slaughtered birds in between Tveri and Tveri exactly like Rav Hanina found the goat and also Kami de Rabasi came in front of Rabasi now Tasis is a little bothered. I see the bug, but yeah, they're watching me. But Tasis is a little a little bothered that Rabami would ask uh, Ravasi a question because it seems Rabami is greater because whenever the Gemara quotes him, it always says Rabami or Ravasi. But Tasis says, ah, you don't have to worry about that. He, uh, he could ask his friend. If it would be Rabbi Abba, which may be another Girsa, then that would be odd because Rabami would not ask Rabba. Rabbi Abba was a student of his. He wouldn't be asking a student, but he could be asking his friend what he what he thinks the Allah is. Ramri la and some say that the uh, Kamid Rabbi Yechonan. Some Ramri la Bei Some say that he came to Rabbi Yechonan. Some say that he came to Beis Medrash. He wants to know about these pargies. And Ramri la they said Zil Shkol and Afshach. You're allowed to take it. You're allowed to keep it, which means you also is allowed to eat it. Now, either that means that, like Rava said. That the majority of people aren't Jewish, but the butchers are Jewish. Or, uh, or Rav Shem Benelazah would say the same halacha by Rav Yisrael. By the majority of Jewish people, you, that, that you're allowed to keep it. Okay. Rav Yitzchak Nafcha, Rav Yitzchak Nafcha, Ashkach Kibura da Azli Beyazluye. This is a type of netting string. Well, how do they translate it over there? It's a... Um, Coils of spun string. Okay. And also the Kamid Rabbi Yechon comes to Rabbi Yechon Ramila Bey Midrash. And some say that he came to the base Medrash. Like, Ramila, and, and they told him, but whoever it is, they said, Zil Shkol and Afshach, that you're allowed to keep it. Now, that's an interesting way to end because that doesn't seem like a bigger Chiddush than the earlier ones. The, the earlier ones had a bigger Chiddush because that was kosher and not kosher. What is he worried about over here? Shatnas? It's not, you, don't, you don't wear this anyway. Anyway, okay. Uh, we have a new Mishnah. I think so. That could be, but that has nothing to do with him keeping the string. Right? Uh, good morning. Starting a new Mishnah. Second Mishnah. And these are the ones that you have to call out <clears throat> in the dictionary by um, uh, Frank, Frank, Yitzhak Frank. I think there's a dictionary with the Aleph on it. So in there, he translates the words Elu. Elu means these, right? But he, um, in the beginning of, of Elu Metzias, it says, Elu Metzias Shalai, Elu Metzias Elu Metzias Shalai. These are the ones that you keep. These are the ones that you call out. These are the ones that you keep. That you keep. He says no. He says elu could also mean which. So elu mitzir shloi. Which are the ones that you keep? Elu Which are the ones that you call out? Elu mitzir shloi. These are the ones because elu can have two meanings according to. So now okay, elu chayv lachus. And these are the ones that you have to call out. Right. This was the going back to that mishnah. Of some of them you can keep. 
there's some things that you find you keep, some things you have to call out. So what would be something that you have to call out that means announce that uh, did anyone lose this? Matzah peris bekeli. If you found fruits in a uh, in a vessel, because the vessel probably has a simon. Sorry. So why does the vessels have a simon? I don't know, but uh, apparently you could you could have described the vessel. It has a scratch. It has a something. Are they homemade? No, they have potters back then that would make vessels. Maybe, maybe they would put uh, some some uh, something engraved in it. Um, okay, so the thing is here that even though the fruits don't have any simon, but the basket. the the basket does, and the fruits are in the basket, so we, it's assumed that it's all one thing, right? Like Haley come show him, maybe he found the basket empty or the right. So then that would he would have to announce Moise Pekis if he found money in a wallet or or some sort of. Um, yeah, it's a wallet. A kiss come sure or an empty wallet. That the wallet would have a simon. What type of wallet it is. Sibure Paris. If he finds bundles of fruits. Bundles of fruits is a possibility. It's not bundles, it's not. It's one bundle. Um piles. Piles of fruits. Piles of fruits. Piles. Okay, good. So the um the in the, the Gemara there's going to be an option if it's because there are several of them. Three. It files with an S. It's the several of them, several of them, and therefore the simon would be the amount of how many there were. He would say how many. He would ask how many were there, and the guy would say three, four, five. And that would be the simon. Or there's another option that maybe that it was location that would be the simon. Siburi mice or piles of money. And I think this is a description of it. It's Shlesha Matbeasu al Gavzu. Is that separate cases or is Shlesha Matbeasu al Gavzu a description of Siburi mice? Does that say, for example? Uh -huh. Oh, this is a different thing. Okay, so Siburi mice would be the number of piles, right? And then if you have three coins one on top of another, remember what that uh, what they look like? The three coins. Oh, wow. What are the options? Magdala. Good. Okay, good. Very good. You're getting a thumbs up from your father. Okay. Yeah, very nice. I, I'm going to take a day off and show him you're going to teach. All right. <laughs> okay. So, very good. You're, you're right about that. So, Shleshim Matriasu, one of the interpretations is going to be that the bottom coin is wider than the than the coins on top. So, it's made like a tower. You'll see soon. Krichis Bishasayach, bundles in a private area. Which means that um, we had a machlekas here. What the pshat was? Machlekas before Rab and Rava. Uh, good morning. Um, if it's um, if it had a simon, if it didn't have a simon, that was the discussion before. Uh, if it didn't have a simon, so what would you announce? You would announce the location. Kikari shal loves the bread of a homeowner, not from a baker. So those were always made with a special shape or some simonic. This is already uh, wool that's already taken from the dyer. That already ha would have a simon on it, not uh, as opposed to just fresh wool that was taken off of the sheep. Kadi ayin v'kadi shemen. Drugs of wine, drugs of oil. Harei l'chai v'lachris. This you have to announce. Okay. Um, what was our discussion about that? That you have to announce it. That we said that it was talking about when you took the, the it was already opened, and then you put the seal on it, and the seal has a sign. Remember that? That was a time. The matzah peres bekeli amayis bekis. What's the reason why you have to announce when we in the Mishnah we said that if you have find fruits inside a basket, so then you have to announce it. What's the reason why you have to announce it? Because the fruits are in the basket. Hakeli will have fun of pears, but let's say you find the basket and the fruits are outside it. 
kiss the front of mice, you find the wallet, and outside the wallet is the money. So then, which could happen when something falls, the things fall, the contents fall out. So that, but the Mishnah doesn't say that. The Mishnah says that you only have to announce it if it's inside. So if it falls out, then Hariel Shalai, then you can keep it. Keep the money at least, keep the fruits. The basket would probably still have a simon. So ten, the, that's what it seems. And Tanil had the Tanar Rabbanan. This, what we taught in the Mishnah, was actually taught in a Brisa. This is what we're understanding from the Mishnah. It's actually taught clearly in a Brisa. Brisa says, Matzah Keli, of Pears. If you find the vessel in front of it is fruits, Kis, Elephant of Mayas. A wallet in front of it is money, Haril Shalai. You're allowed to keep it because it's only if it's inside that you have to return it. <clears throat> if some of the fruits are in are, are in the vessel and some of them are not, uh, that would be interesting, right? It's partially in, partially out. So, some of the money is in the wallet and some of it is outside. What's yeah, the rule? I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah the other rim is coming out. So then it's high of Lahachris. Then you have to announce it. Okay. So we learned over here that if it's all the fruits are outside the basket, you're allowed to keep the fruits and return the basket. But if it's partially inside, partially outside, then you have to return it. For a minute, the Gemara asks a contradiction on this. If you find something that doesn't have a simon, right next to something that does have a simon, does have an identifying mark. So we assume that they come from one one another. Five lachas, you have to announce everything. Assuming it's, it's the same owner. No, same item. Well, no, this would be a uh, a vessel. Next to it is grain. Oh, so the vessel has a simon and the grain doesn't, or something like that. So oh. here we're saying that you do have to announce it. Before we said you don't have to, even though it's outside it. Let's say the owner of the vessel comes and says, that's mine, but the uh, the grain or the fruits are not mine. Then, then in that case, the person can keep the part that the, uh, that the other guy says isn't his. But the vessel in and of itself could be a similar for the grain. That's it's right. Serious. If it's connected, if it's not, yeah. or yeah, maybe it's, it's not. Stick onto it. Very good. The Gemara is going to explain. Uh, so Amar of Svid like Kasha, Habakuva Vikisna, Habitsana Uperi. So what Shalom was explaining to us is what Reb Zvid says. He also gave uh, Papa said also, but um by same. Okay, so we have several answers here. One answer is that it depends what it is. If it's a basket with flax, then that would be you're allowed to keep it because the fact that there's no flax left in the basket, you would think that it would get, it would, it would be, um, let's say there's cookie batter and there's a bowl. And when you uh, find the cookie batter, the bowl is clean and it's right next to, it's, you find the cookie batter outside the bowl and you find a clean bowl. So obviously it's not from the, that bowl yeah. because or else you would, you would have it be all the sticky uh, stuff right there. Well, so yeah, or the end, right. Or the kids got it. So, um, so the, here it's talking about flax inside a, a basket. Now, the flax would have stayed in the basket if it came from the basket. Some of it would have stayed, at least would have, would have stuck to it. But uh, if it's a bowl with fruits, then not necessarily the fruits would stay in. They would roll right out. A bunch of oranges would ro roll right out of the uh, basket. So the fact that there's no fruits in the, in, the, in the bowl, that does not tell me that it's obviously not from this bowl. Doesn't tell me anything. It could have rolled out. So that's why you have to return it if it, there's no fruits in there, but you don't have to return it if, if it's flax. Because you have, I have a proof that the flax is not from this vessel. That's the answer of Rav Zuhid. Rav Papa, Amar Rav Papa says, Hava Bitsana Peri. Both of them are talking about a bowl of, of fruit. It depends. When we said that you have to return it, that's because there was one orange that was left in the bowl. Uh, but if there was nothing left in the bowl, then you would be allowed to keep all the all the fruit. We can give another answer. Both of them, there's nothing left in the bowl. Depends which way the bowl is facing. If the opening of the bowl is facing the opposite direction than the fruit are, so then we assume that it did not come from it. 
but if it's if it's um facing the same direction, then we assume that it came from there. You buy the same as another terrace. Both of them are facing the fruit. Both of them are facing the fruit. Like it depends if the basket has a, 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 a lip that's bent inward. So if there's a lip that's bent inward, then it would have held back some of the fruit. But if its lip is not bent inward, then it, that doesn't prove anything, that there's no fruit in it. By not be facing each other, if there's no oranges anywhere near them. I don't think it, it matters. No. Could have been two travelers walking together. One dropped this, one dropped that. Doesn't mean that that's connected. <coughs> okay. Siburi Paris he said was piles of fruit. Siburi mice was piles of money. Shamit Mina, we learned from this. Minyan Avi Simon, obviously, the fact that it says piles with a plural uh, S. So, so that means that the that the number, the amount of how many there are is going to be a Simon. Right? He's going to announce. Um, I found, what's he going to say? How does he announce it? Not yet. I forget how he announces it. I think he says, um, what did he say before? By the place he said, Bachar's mucking, he would announce what he, where he found it. The person would say what he lost. And what would, how would he announce it by the minion? I guess he would announce fruits, and th th that would be the most logical. He would announce fruits, and the person would tell him how many piles there were. Okay. So the Gemara says, you have no proof, because it could be that Tani Tzibor Paris that it's really one bundle of fruits, and then you, you can't... Um... Looking for what we said before. It could be that... Um... That it's only one. It's only one bundle. Then you, obviously you can't. You can't. Uh, the person can't say how many there were. If there's only one. It was, wasn't a plural. The so says, "Oh, if that's the case, shamet minam makem habisimen." Then it must be the location. And we. This was a discussion before, right? If makem is a simen, was machlekes. The location is a simen. It's machlekes rab and rava. The gemara says, "No, tani tiburi pairs." Basically, we're always getting out of. We're slipping out of getting a clear sack over here. If makem is a simen or not. Because it could be, depending on what the gear says in the Mishnah. Okay. Three coins, one on top of another. Amar Yitzchak Magdala, Vusha Singh to Migdalan. Rabbi Yitzchak Magdala, Rabbi Yitzchak, the tower, from the I tower. Yeah, from Magdala, from the tower, or a place that's quote, that's in means a tower. It says Ma that Magdala is Migdalan. Migdal is a tower, right? No, not well. Migdal is a town where we grew up. Migdal. Oh, it's a town. Uh, okay. Yeah. But, but um, his, um, his uh, comment here is Ruch Yassin Ki Migdalan. That if it's made like a tower, which means the bottom coin is is wide, and then comes the second coin, the uh, thinner coin, that would be like a quarter, a nickel, and then a dime. Yeah, it that was the place that he came from. But... Um, some say that he got the name because uh, this is a uh, uh, Reb Naftali spoke about this once. Uh, there's a uh, a book by Reb Ruvin Margolius that has several several um, examples of this of people that said, made comments that sound like their name. And I think that he thinks that maybe yeah, they got the name because. Oh, oh okay. Here it says that he had the name before he came up with okay. the tower. Okay. No problem. Okay. Tanya Nami Hafi. It's also taught in the Brisa. Matza, this other chat is just cuter. Matza Peris Mifuzaris. If you find uh, money that's spread out, Hariel Shalai, you can keep it. 
But a suya can make dalem if it was made like a tower, then chayav lahachres. Then you have to announce it. Very clear, exactly like like Rabbi Yitzchak Magdala. Here would be an example of made like a tower. You have three coins, one on top of another. It's made like a tower. I'm talking about that the one that's on top is more uh, is thinner. It's uh, more narrow. Okay. Gemara <clears throat> says, uh, no, it says, yeah. It says, one second, that's self-contradictory. Amrit Matzumayis Mephuzares starts off saying that if you find money that's spread out, really shall I? That's um, then you keep it. But if it's not really spread out, it's part partially on the ground, partially on the other coins. So, in other words, like each coin is partially on another coin. So then we would say that you have to announce it. It's only if it's totally spread out that you can that you can keep it. Then chayiv lahachers But if you go further, it says a sin kamigdalim. Made like a tower, that's kind of lachos. I'm a shlach vish lachos here in the But if it's not, if it's not perf- a perfect tower, then we would say that you can keep it. So we have the yukim seisim. We have contradictions in the what's in the implication of the two statements of the Mishnah. One implies that you can keep it if it's one. Of, the first one implies that you cannot keep it if it's partially if the coins are partially on one another. The second one is you you can keep it if it's partially on until it's a tower. Satana kol shenasin kemigdalim with Lazarus Carlo. No, 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 no. If it's not a tower, it's considered spread out. Okay, and then you can keep it. That's how we, uh, an answer to this. I'm a Reb Chanina. Reb Chanina says leishen al shleishem malachim. Moshal melech echadei nechayv lahachas. Chanina said it's talking about three different kings on these coins. Each coin is from a different king. They would say every time there was a, a new king, they would uh, switch. Same amount of currency for coin. That I don't know. Because like in our currency, like you, know, you have different uh, ratings. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're, we're, there's there's a the initial understanding of this is just. Three different kings are on it, but the coinage is the same. Mm-hmm. So now it That's says, if they could look at this, it says one second. The Gemara has a question. Hey, Chidami, what's the case where he says there's three different kings? If it's made like a tower because they're different sizes, then who cares about if it's different kings? It's made like a tower. The person set it up like that. If it's not made like a tower, I feel so slash nami like. Then why should it make a difference if it's three if it's three different kings? So what what the picture is that's on it? Ali Yitmar Hachi Yitmar. Rather, if we're gonna t- teach what Rabbi Khanina taught, you'd have to be taught like this. This is only taught if it's one king, which is similar to three kings, which would mean that they're different sizes. What's what's the case? I skipped the parentheses. So he finishes off here. He says that and how what would this case be? That's only if it's built like a tower where the bottom one is is the biggest, and then there's a middle one which is on top of it, and then there's a one on top of that which is on top of the the, uh, but if they are, um, if they're all the same size, then we would say that you can't keep it. I'm sorry, the opposite. They would say that you can keep it. You, can, you don't have to call it out. Say, so, well, it happened that they all fell together. Okay. Um, what's the idea behind uh, like stacking? Yeah, yeah. When he stacked it, it, it looks like he placed it down. Because if someone would be making piles of coins, that's how he would make them. Now we don't do do it today like that. We don't do quarter nickel dime. We do quarters, piles of quarters, nickels, piles yeah, of yeah. quarters. But I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm not sure why it has to be like that. At least according to the where we're holding right now, uh, the Gemara is saying that if they're all the same size. 
Do you think so? Yeah, but maybe he should divide his coins according to their currency. Put all the quarters together. You know, to make it into a dollar. I forget, but the, uh, something they told me in school, the story about this boy that went to the store and with the dollar and he came back, he was so happy. And he says, look, now I have two quarters instead of the dollar. And mm -hmm. he came back again. Now I have three dimes. I have three is more than two. He kept coming back and he was so proud of himself. <laughs> okay. Rabbi Yechanan Amar. Rabbi Yechanan says, I feel Shalmei Lechachanami Machas. Even if it's one king, you have to announce it. My machers, what does he now? Uh, I, what we would understand now, Shomelachachan means that um, they're all the same size and one on top of another, you have to announce it. That would be Rabbi Yechanan's view. He would argue on Rabbi Hanina. Uh, what does he announce? Minion. He announces how many coins there are. My Yeritlas. Then why is it only if it's three coins that we would say, it could be even trained, Nami. Once there's two, oh, my machers, it's the opposite. My machers, what does he announce? He announces how many coins he found. Then the person has to come along and say what the simon was on the coins, a different a different identifying mark. So if, we, if we're going to get a real identifying mark here, so then it doesn't have to be three coins. It could even be two coins if you have a real identifying mark. I'm Ravina Tiva machers. He doesn't announce how many there are. And he's announcing the um, the currency, or not the currency. He's just saying, I found coins. So once he says coins, then that's already like a giveaway that there were two. So two or more. But we, we think like when, if he says a plural, that when it would be easy for someone to guess that there was two. Oh, Rabbi Yermia. Rabbi Yermia has a question. Kashir. If the coins were put into a circle, mahu, what's the din? Kashur, if they're put into one straight line, what would be the din? Kachatsuva mahu, if they're made like a tripod, what would be the din? Kasula mahu, if they're made like a tower, if one coin is on top of a half a coin on top of the other. Right. Right. That's why that's what we're learning in the Mishnah that it's only if it's three coins, that's when you have to announce it. So, Pshait Mia Chada. Rabbi Yemi has all these questions, but the Gemara says we can we can at least answer one of them. Very good. Rav Nachman says the name of his father-in-law. If you can put a um, a stick under it and lift them all up, then you have to announce it. No, um, I, I don't understand that at all. But I don't know how you lift it. Lift up coins with a stick. I couldn't even lift up one coin with a stick. You have to balance it on it. But even the ladder, no, I can I stick a coin underneath. I, how do they explain that you could lift it up? Oh, yeah, with the magnet. But then they, <laughs> they just spread out. The silver and magnetic? I don't know. Okay. Would it be kind of like a flat piece of wood that you would lift the three coins? That that like a knife or something? You slide a yeah. knife on. Yeah, but then I think you'd be able to lift up. If it was in a row, you'd be able to lift it up. If it was in a, a tripod or, or, you know, 
wouldn't have to be one on top. It wouldn't have to be like a sulam where you have one coin laying half on top of the other one. You would just tell me it depends on the size of it, you know, how spread out it is. I don't know. Let's see. There's a book that explains this very well. But um, let's check if I have it. Uh, Boy Ravashi. Ravashi has a question. Kavni yeah, Bisuya. Sorry, you taking off? Okay, Kavni Bisculus. Um, the stones of Bisculus. Bisculus was a an idol, Mercury. Um, oh, wow. And um, what the way they would they would uh, symbolize it was. They had two stones with a stone on top, you know, like the Olympic symbol. I think it could be an extension of that. I'm not sure. You know, Olympics have a bunch of like circles, but and then on top they have the each one is like inside the other two. There's five of them. Um, so um, they would do. They would. They would. Uh, uh, they would set up these like stones, oh, and then you would throw uh, uh, throw stones at it. Yeah. So let's say it was set up. Uh, the coins were set up with two coins, with a uh, with a, a coin on top in the, in the center of the other two. What's going to be the din? So Tashima, the Tanya was starting to buy some matzah mice with fusares. Find money that's spread out or else you can keep it. Kavni beskulis, but if it's like the stones of beskulis, so it's chayv you have to announce it. Okay, we have, we have an answer. Elu in avni beskulis. What is avni beskulis? Achz mikan, achz mikan, achz al gabeim. One and one on the bottom, and then one on top. Okay, the way you do bricklaying. <laughs> yeah, the above Mercury. Okay, what is that? Saint Mary. Yeah. Because they worship the the, yeah. the heavenly, uh, right? But they they were symbolizing something. Okay, turn around, Bonan. Starting the brisa, mighty mice b'shuk. Someone finds money in the marketplace. Matzoy chaveri. His friend finds him. Amalai. He says to him, Shaliyu, it's mine. Chadashi, it's a brand new coin. Nirainasi, it's the it's a coin from Neron. Neron was the Roman emperor. Or no, converted according to the Gemara. So Melech plain uh, conventional history is he went crazy, which according which very possible mean, means that uh, for them that he converted. Um, yeah, comes from Nero. Uh, I'm sorry. It was a. I'm sorry. Can't do what? Uh, oh, that, oh, very good. Exactly. Very good. Shall plain you have a certain king? Leo McClum, he didn't say anything. Leo, he did not only that. I feel smite even if he wrote his name on it. This, this fellow is, he wrote his name on the money. That sounds uh, illegal today. Leo McClum, that's nothing. Because there's no such thing as a, having a, a, an identifying mark on a coin. Because you say, Maybe he spent it and then someone else dropped it. Right? The fact that you know the serial number, like Shalom says to the coin, that doesn't mean that it's to the dollar. That doesn't mean that you're, that, that's yours. It means you had it at one time. We have a new mission there. If you find, talking about, what is it? I think so. Uh, that's what we'll see soon. Meanwhile, it's um, it's behind the fence. What do you find behind the fence? Like chickens or something. Or behind the fence. What's the difference, gapa and gather? A wall or a fence? Oh, no, we're talking about when they're hopping now. Oh, which one? Which one is the chickens are tied? Very good, yeah. 
Which one is the stone one? Is the uh, uh, wooden fence it is uh, uh, Hagatha. Okay. And, and the get there is the stone stone wall. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, the, very good. That's that's what Rashi is, says. Very good. Wooden very and good. stone is not bolts. <laughs> so gap is wood. I saw that Rashi. I didn't realize that, but that's what he was emphasizing. Emphasizing. Um, uh huh. Um. Very good. That's a good point. Okay, so you find over there these chickens. Or you find it in the paths, these chickens in the paths to, to, between fields. You shouldn't take them. Um, we'll see in the Gemara why you shouldn't take them. We'll see. Uh, now, if you find the vessel in the garbage, if it's covered over, it's wrapped up, then don't, don't, uh, don't take it. It's not really an Aveda. Uh, someone placed it there. In Megula, but if it's in Megula, if it's open, then night then you take it, and you then you take it and you have to announce it, not take it and keep it. Talking about a keli which has a simon. My time. What's the reason why after behind the fence that we said that you should not touch it? Damrina and Hani and a uh, there was some person that came and put them there. If you're going to take it, the owner doesn't have a simon. So you have to leave it. If you're going to take it and expect that, oh, I'm going to, um, to give it back to the owner, the owner is never going to be able to get it back because he doesn't have a simon on it. So you know, won't be able to return it to the owner. So that's why you just have to leave it. Now, Chickens and then it became eggs and the eggs and the, and, the, and then the goats, right? Yeah. I'm not sure where that where that, where it's mentioned. I don't remember it from the, from here. Listen, maybe at the end of the parrot, maybe. We get so far in the, in school. In, in school, they didn't finish the whole parrot. Okay. Um, that's why it's important what Hillel pointed out, that Taisva says that it's um, it's a place that's guarded, partially at least, so that it's not, it, if it would be a, 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 if it would be leaving it there, it would be uh, destroyed or something, or totally lost, harmful to it. So then that would be a different story. But over here, it's not It's not going to get harmed. So fine if it stays there. So you let the owner come back and get it. But my, what do you mean there's no simon over here? Let the, uh, the knot that's on it be a simon. They're tied by the wings, which is a normal type of knot. What do you mean? You're going to say that uh, it was tied by the wings? So everyone does that. What about the location? Rabbi Chama says, uh, very good, Shalom, and it's talking about where it's hopping. One, one second. Over here, you, the reason why we're being particular about this, uh, where you're not supposed to take it, is because it's in this location, which is behind the fence. But could be it came from somewhere else, if you're telling me that it's hopping. Where it says, Where it says, you're right. It could be it came from somewhere else. It could be it came from somewhere else and it happened over here. It could be uh, someone put it over here and it's, it's staying here. Probably So we have, now we have a doubt if this is the location where it was placed. That the rule is that if you if you um, have something that may have been placed there, then you're not supposed to take it, even though it could be it came from somewhere else. A suffik may have play, may have been placed there. Already, don't take it. In the, and if you, but if you did take it, don't return it either. Once you take it, don't return it. Now, the reason why you shouldn't return it is because the owner may have came to look for it and saw that it wasn't there. 
Now you put it back, you think you did your obligation, and really the owners uh, lost it by now. It's not coming back. Now, yeah, there's a discussion here in Taisvis. That's only if you already went home, and now you want to come back. But if you were staying there the whole time, then possibly you can put it back. Okay, whatever. Um find the vessel in the um, in the garbage if it's covered over don't take it and if it's open then you announce it you have a contradiction if you find the vessel that's wrapped up that's hidden in the garbage you're supposed to announce it because they may end up emptying the garbage yeah, depends what it is that's in there. If it's a jug and a in a cups, those large items, um, so then someone placed it there. Sakini vehemnek, that's like this little silverware that gets thrown away with the plastic tablecloth. So that is an aveda. That was actually lost. Um, so that's what you're supposed to announce. Oh yeah, now we're gonna learn the same. Oh really? Oh, oh in, in in the in lift nicer lift. Uh, yeah. Right. It says it's not covered. It says you must take it and not to give it up. Right. Like obligated to do it. Yeah, because it's a, it's a um, it has a simon on it. You're obligated to take this and pick it up and yeah. do this job. Of Talking about right. Right. But okay. we have the same thing. Yeah, they have bulk bulk garbage on the, every I don't know, once a month or something. So they uh, you driving down the street, you see over there a couch on the side of the street. No one lost that couch. They put it there. But sometimes you go over there and you find like a little um, scooter. You know, the scooter doesn't belong in the bulk garbage. The, one of the kids forgot to bring it in at night. You know, so that's a different story. Okay. So it depends. Uh, if you if it would be, um, in this case, it's larger vessels were probably placed there. And the person's coming back for it. He just placed it there. Maybe it was like on his way home and he couldn't carry it all or something. And But if it's these little things, these little knives and uh, I don't know what him that got. Yeah, Himnik, I think, was like uh, tongs. So then the smaller things, uh, you should announce it because that could have fallen in. Both of them are large. Both cases, depends what type of garbage it is. Is it garbage that gets emptied or is it garbage that doesn't get emptied? Okay, the Gemara asked the question. If it gets empty, then the guy's throwing it out. How could you tell me that that's when you're supposed to announce it? We're talking about over here. But usually, usually, how can you tell me that you don't take it at all? That was the question. You tell me you don't take it at all. He's throwing it out. Um, we're talking about a, a garbage dump, which is usually not empty. But now they're changing their mind to empty it. So that's when you're supposed to take it. Other one is a garbage that doesn't get emptied, and that's why you leave it there. According to Rav Papa, it makes sense. We said because, in the, we go back to the Mishnah. It says, um, "Not it wasn't the Mishnah. What was it? It was the Brisa. The Brisa says that if you find a, a keli in the garbage." Then you take it you, and you announce it because it gets emptied. Now, what do you mean because it gets emptied? It just means because they change their mind and they're going to empty it. Okay. Okay. Ella Ravzvid, but according to Ravzvid, Mashkin Der Hashbalifnis, why does it have to say because it gets emptied? According to Ravzvid, it doesn't have anything to do with getting emptied. It has to do with was it is, is it a mistake that it's in there or is it placed there? Uh, the Gemara answers. Not that it gets emptied, but that it gets emptied into it. 
small vessels. Not that the garbage got sent, but emptied into it small vessels. And that would be the reason why. Okay. Um, let's well, let to leave it over here. All right. Today. One page behind. Have a good day, everyone.